I've said a lot of things on this channel about relicking. It's a divisive thing, um, and sometimes they get it wrong, sometimes they get it right. This is one instance that I think they did a fantastic job. This is a limited edition Custom Shop 1961 roasted Stratocaster. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Stick around. How's it going, guys? My name is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. And if you haven't already, subscribe if you're feeling like it. Hit the like button, comment on all the videos, let us know what you want to see. We appreciate you watching and happy new year. Uh, welcome to 2023, where there's a whole new crop of guitars to talk about. And this is one of the latest things that's coming to the store. I really like this guitar. It's turned a lot of heads from customers and employees alike. And like I said, it's a mouthful. Limited edition custom shop 61 roasted Strat. It is roasted because the wood was roasted. And um, this is an ash body, which feels like a lot of people are missing because they're not doing a ton of ash anymore. Um, typically on anything with this type of finish that you'd get from the American Pro 2 series, for example, be pine, um, and then more often than not, you're working with alder. There is ash every once in a while on some of these transparent finishes, but they're really reserving ash for a lot of the higher end stuff. Some of the new American Vintage 2 have ash bodies, and a lot of the custom shop does. So that's just one more thing that they're keeping out of the reach of a lot of people by reserving it to the custom shop, that's fine. Pine is a fantastic wood, alder's great, whatever. So. This is a roasted body, and it was done so to really mimic, as we see in a lot of Tor Faction and acoustic guitars, VTS if you're a Martin fan. Um, it's supposed to age the wood somewhat naturally and pull out some of the moisture, make it lighter, make it more resonant. And I think you can really feel a difference on this guitar. It's very light. Uh, for all you people that ask us about the weight of guitars, I can weigh this thing and put it in the description below if you're interested, because I've now locked myself into giving the weight of this guitar. But it's a nice, light Strat. Um, it is from the custom shop, and as we all know, their relicking stages are, you know, NOS, new old stock, closet classic, which is like, you know, it was never played, it was just kept in a closet, really good condition, little aged, um, journeyman, and then you get into the relic, the heavy relic, super heavy relic. This is a super heavy relic guitar. And like I said, sometimes they do it right, in my opinion, sometimes they uh, do it wrong. I think that they did this one right, and it might come down to the fact that it's transparent finish. Um, it's nitro finish, but it's really kind of worn down in a different pattern than I've seen in a lot of guitars. Uh, Ted on our piano channel said that he feels like this guitar was an actual thing that somebody owned that they just replicated perfectly. Um, sometimes I feel like the relicking, yes, in the custom shop, it's all done custom by hand for every single one. Sometimes you see these Ventero road warns or something like that, and it's obviously a pattern that's set into a machine. This one does not feel like it was a pattern. It feels like it was meticulously done in a way to, you know, make it feel like it was a real thing. So uh, I think it looks great. It feels really great with that finish. Um, none of it is like too rough or anything like that. We've had some tellies in here that, while I love them, they do feel a little rough in some areas. That's their prerogative. But um, the neck feels really nice. You can't really tell how much it's been relicked because the color difference isn't super extreme, but it is very soft neck and it feels great. Um, this is a 9.5 inch radius. It's got the flat lamb rosewood fingerboard and these are hand wound Texas special pickups. So. Really nice acoustic quality of this guitar because of that roasting, super light. I mean, we were kind of talking earlier in the store how you can sort of feel it, especially on strats and tellies and you know old school fenders. If it sounds good unplugged, it sounds good plugged in for the most part. Boom, sounds good to me, it feels good. You feel the whole body vibrating. And um, I just think it's, it's a really good looking guitar. Feels good, sounds good. I'm playing it through a Blues Junior today. There is something interesting in the switching that you will see in this demo. I'm going from the neck all the way down to the bridge. This second tone pot is a nice little blend. So 
Um, it's blending in that bri bridge and neck um, in these bottom two positions. I'm still kind of figuring out what that sound is like, but I think it hits its stride. Spoiler alert, I did the demos already, so I know what's coming. But when I come back around to that second position, some about rolling that tone knob off, it just feels really right to me. It feels very old school and captures a tone that I really enjoy. And so hand-wound Texas specials, hard to go wrong with those. Custom Shop 61 Strat, feels like 61's the year right now that everybody's looking for, especially after the American Vintage 2 61's came out. Fiesta Red ones, I mean, if we, we would sell a million if we had a million. So um, I would love to see more 61 stuff. Had a lot of requests for it from Custom Shop Guitars. This is an amazing example of a 61, and uh, I'll stop talking so you can hear it. Check it out. There you have it, limited edition 61 roasted Stratocaster from the Fender Custom Shop. Um, we have had a lot more custom shops come in and out uh, this past year. It's now 2023, but 22 was a good year for custom shops for us because we got a really wide range of some pretty interesting stuff. I'm looking forward to this year getting even a little bit more diverse. Uh, we do this custom shop event every year where Chris and myself go on, it's online. You can see all these different offerings and then based on if you win it there or if you uh, purchase it and made to order, it might take up to a year. This is one that we did get from this previous show um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing some more stuff like this, whether it be Stratocasters that are just different kind of finishes and kind of some interesting wiring or pickups, or getting into the offset stuff. I think that we have criminally underrated custom shop Jags and Jazz Masters, even some of the more kind of funky things. So if there are things that you're looking for from the custom shop that you want us to keep our eyes open for in these events, please comment below, let us know because we're happy to look for them for you. 
and then bring them into our store so you can hear them, you can play them, and you can purchase them. Um, but Fender Custom Shop, sometimes I kind of now after having all these, take it for granted a little bit because we get in a bunch of 1960s sunburst strats. I'm like, oh yeah, that's whatever. But then you really get into them like I did with this guitar today. You can kind of appreciate the craftsmanship and how inspiring these guitars can be. Something about this one, just playing it unplugged, it really vibrates in a nice way that gets me into kind of that old school rock feel, makes me want to play some of that stuff, and it's just a really fun experience. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you're in the area, please feel free to come by, play all the custom shops we have. It's just a fun time. And uh, if you have any questions on this one or any of the other strats, tellies, jazz masters, basses, whatever else that we got in stock, uh, very happy to answer all of those for you. You can comment below, email us, call us, go on the website, chat, all that jazz. Um, and you might even get in touch with Jazz, Jasmine. I know she's talked to plenty of you. All of our guys are really very uh, interested in Fender guitars and love talking about them. So get in touch. Let us know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Happy New Year. We will see you next time.